Hey everybody, it's Alicia with PixieStock.com and it is Teach Me Tuesday. And I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to change the colors of a graphic. I'm gonna be sending a Valentine's Day photo, as you know, from the poll yesterday. And also uh, just a simple graphic that you can customize to fit your uh, colors and your brand. So I'm in Canva now and I'm going to be sending this love graphic here. I just uploaded it to my own images. So I'm just going to click that. And it's just a basic graphic white background word love with this kind of metallic uh, pink overlay. It's this here, which was designed in Photoshop and I brought it over to Canva. Um, so first I'm just going to expand this. The dimensions of this graphic is going to be 1200 by 1200 pixels for social media. And I'm just going to expand it a little bit over the edge. So clicking on the graphic, if you go into the filter tab, um, you'll see the advanced options. And we're going to be working with this tint here. And we're just going to slide it back and forth in order to see it because it's such a large window. I'm just going to drag this over so I can see how the color changes as I'm playing with the filter. So depending on what your color is, you can just simply drag the tint dial to wherever you like. Um, and I'm just going to do, um, let's see, I'll do a little bit more of a hot pink, okay? And then you could also play with the brightness by making it darker, but as you can see, that changes the background because technically we've tinted the entire graphic not just the lettering so if you don't want to change the brightness of the pink color that you just created then just leave it on zero all right and so now i'm just going to drag this back up it's pure white on pure white so it really doesn't matter where you put it but i'm just going to leave it in the center here and then i'm going to add some text over top of it so we're going to go to text and I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to use, yeah, we can use Gilroy light, make it a little bit larger. And then we're going to change the text here to always at a period. And then I'm just going to left justify that and bring it about there. Maybe make it a tad bit larger. Done. Okay, now if you want this centered, you can actually just kind of move it a little bit. All right, so you could do something like this, save it or download it, and then upload it to your social media. You can, let's say we move this up here. We move this up here, and then we say, even when you don't feel like it. All right, you can put it there. You can drag it down. Like I said, this is just a white background on a white background. So you can put it wherever you want. Um,
But the main thing is that in the filter tab, advanced options, you can change the tint of this love graphic here to whatever your brand color is or whatever suits you. I typically would do this in Photoshop, but um, uh, Canva, you know, it's just quicker, but I could easily change the hue saturation on um, this graphic in Photoshop. But for you all, when I send it, go ahead and stick it in Canva, change the color and add some text, add a border, and let's see what you come up with. So stay tuned for another Teach Me Tuesday. Bye.